in the digital economy. This sector, these sectoral commitments require the investment of huge amounts of capital. There are also clear opportunities for the EU firms to plug in, especially under our public-private partnership model. The legal framework for PPP is now in place and investors can engage with confidence in all our areas of priority and areas of interest by our partners. A year ago, I engaged the European Business Council and shared my vision in terms of the business environment and the rules of the game. I expressed commitment with regard to institutionalization of our governance and sound institutional quality and the rule of law. I wish to confirm to you that I have made progress in implementing undertakings, those undertakings to pursue solutions. The Kenya Revenue Authority, for example, is less arbitrary and more rational in executing its mandate and now pursues alternative dispute resolution with a firm and fair focus on optimizing revenue collection and at the same time providing a customer sensitive service to all taxpayers. The Inspector General of the National Police Service is now an accounting officer which makes the police service truly independent and can handle all matters to do with the security and uh, security of property and life of citizens, including our investors. We are making progress in supporting the judiciary to reach Kenyans closer at, at the grassroots by establishing additional uh, court stations throughout the country as a mechanism to enhance our ease of doing business and making sure that disputes are resolved in time so that there are no losses and there are no unnecessary delays. The rule of law depends on the independence of such institutions and go a long way to anchor the caliber of business that makes Kenya a compelling investment destination. I am confident that we shall make further progress steadily going forward. Kenya alone is an economy of around 55 million people who consume plenty of products from the EU. We remain uniquely geostrategic as the gateway to the East and Central Africa and are a central player in three overlapping regional economic communities, the East African community, the common markets for Eastern Southern Africa, and the Africa continental free trade area. We are also a strong participant in the vast tripartite agreement encompassing ESC, COMESA, and SADC, as you've heard from Moses. This is an agreement, the tripartite agreement was signed in 2015. And unfortunately, for the last seven years or so, we haven't concluded that, uh, that agreement to uh, the satisfaction of the requirements of the regulations. In the last one and a half months, I have sent Moses, my cabinet secretary, to 11 capitals, and he's been all the way to Egypt, Angola, Comoros, Uganda, Tanzania, Lesotho, South Africa, and I now can promise with confidence that by end of April, we will have the tripartite agreement in place. And And 28 countries in our continent will be working as one trading block with 750 million people and an economy of $1.8 trillion. I think it is a great opportunity that as the EU looks at Kenya, you are also looking at the tripartite agreement, 750 million people and a huge economy to deal with. I think we can now have a conversation of equals.
for the EU Business Council, I want to state 